Moving on to Oregon City. Oregon City voters, you are going to elect a new mayor tomorrow. And if you think that sounds familiar, well, it's because it really is. This will be Oregon City's third new mayor in the last two years. And there's yet another election in just a few months. It all started in the spring of 2020 with former mayor Dan Holliday. He was serving his second term when things started to get, well, shall we say, controversial. When the state shut down because of the pandemic, Holiday considered issuing a declaration to reopen Oregon City businesses in defiance of the state orders. And then he changed his mind after the attorney general came after him. Then, during protests over the murder of George Floyd, Holiday got backlash for social media posts that he made downplaying police brutality against black people. Holiday was recalled in the fall of 2021. Then there was a special election for someone to finish Holiday's term. Voters elected Rachel Lyle Smith, an Oregon City Commissioner. She filled the seat until this spring when she resigned. She said she wanted to move out of state to spend more time with her family. So now, Oregon City voters are holding another special election to fill Smith's seat, which was filling Holiday's seat. You keeping track of that at home? Three people are now running to become Oregon City Mayor, at least for a few months. There's Denise McGriff, who has been filling in as the mayor. She's also a city commissioner. Also uh, running is retired entrepreneur Dan Burge and retired mechanic Alan Bedore. We talked with McGriff and Burge today, but we couldn't get a hold of Bedore, and he did not have a picture available. So, what are their priorities? Well, both mentioned traffic and tolling on I-205. Here's candidate Denise McGriff. What we really would like to do is have ODOT come to the table with us uh, and really sit down and have a really deep discussion because we have diversion right now. And I think it's only going to get worse. In Oregon City and West Lynn, Highway 43, Willamette Falls Drive, and our Main Street and 99E get backed up just if some little tweak happens to McLaughlin or to I-205 or to I-5, people come through here and then there's a backup. And I don't know if, I think one of the things we talked about was tolling one small section is not really going to solve the problem. Candidate Dan Burge also said he had concerns about the traffic in Oregon City and said that he wants to see the city's rules and regulations reworked and streamlined. For example, when it comes to new construction. We need to preserve the trees. We need to preserve the water underneath the ground. It feeds the trees. Uh, I've, I've also uh, have built houses in Oregon City and stuff. And the, the rules are, 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 are need changing. They're flexible, they're variable. Uh, they need fixed things to do and we need to fix the, you know, when we come in and do a subdivision or something, the communications underneath the ground, the zero to 15 feet between the big, you know, 200 year old and 300 year old trees uh, gets dug away. The water table gets dug away and the water is just instantly down to the river. Uh, so that's the reason we're losing a lot of our cedar trees in Oregon City now. This is also going to be the first election for Clackamas County Clerk Sherry Hall to handle after that big blurry barcode fiasco back in the May primary. It delayed the vote count for a few weeks. There's already been a hiccup in this one. The clerk's office sent the wrong voters pamphlet inserts a few weeks ago. So we'll let you know how this all goes.